Welcome everybody. <laughs> welcome everybody welcome back to homestay at heart and today we are outside getting ready to do the morning chores um j locks hasn't joined us yet he'll be on his way out they have been doing great with getting up early with me you can see the sun is barely up they have been doing a great job with getting up early in the morning i am feeling so much better we did not do the we did not go on the adventure yesterday because I was not feeling good. Now you feeling good? I feel so much better. Let's go on. <laughs> I feel so much better today. So I don't know if we're going to get a chance to go on the adventure today because it's been raining already and it's supposed to start raining again in a little bit. So we'll see what the weather does hopefully we'll get a chance to go on that adventure too the old barn dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started with the chores today Whew. and we're gonna have a look at the geek squad squad <laughs> y'all stay tuned let's go get them fed <laughs> So, today we're talking guineas. It's extremely cloudy still, but we're going to go ahead and let them out because we're going to talk about our guineas, y'all. This has been quite the experience with the guineas. So, we're going to go ahead and let everybody out. You're going to help me get them all fed. High five. Boom. We're going to get them taken care of and, um, yeah. Get the show on the road, girl. We don't show that. Guys, we got the whole, we got the eggs. Say good morning, J-Locks. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, well, uh, welcome to Homestead Heart, everybody. Welcome to Homestead Heart, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So, now we're going to talk guineas today, okay? Thank you. Thank you for helping us out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is King of the Geek Squad right here. That's that's King Geek right there. That is King Geek. Isn't he adorable? Have a face only a mother could love. <laughs> and those are the other guineas. So these are the other uh, some of the others right here. They're not the king though. Nah. They're like the... This is the Geek Squad. This is the Geek Squad. Have fun on your morning roll, ducks. And they are doing such a fantastic <coughs> job. What, what out do they here. do? They eat all of the ticks and the bugs, and there's Bill and Billy Jean going on to catch up with the guineas. Why not call them Donald Duck? Yeah, there's Donald King Duck and Geek. Daffy He's Duck catching up with the rest of them. <laughs> Donald Duck and Daffy Duck. Nah, that's Bill, and that's Billy Jean. Billy Jean. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see. Our guineas are in the background. Y'all, they do a fantastic job on the homestead. Now, I know some people, some homesteaders, some farmers, you know, I guess they don't really care much for the guineas, you know. But because they are loud. I mean, they are very, very loud. 
and they are probably more annoying to the chickens than they are to us <laughs> because actually I um I don't mind the sounds of our guineas they don't really bother me very much I actually I enjoy the sounds of the guineas except for when they're like right in my ear and I'm in the hen house trying to get everybody fed and then they're right here and it's really loud but I don't really mind the sounds of um, the guineas very much at all you know we, our house is way over there and they're way out here so I love hearing them <laughs> it doesn't bother me I actually find it quite pleasant so I would say that if you want guineas make sure that if you think the noise because you see how loud they could be make sure that they are far enough away from your house because you don't want to hear them at your window no time <laughs> Because that could be quite loud. There's Grizzly. Where did Tamu go? You think he wants to be alone? You think he want to be alone? With, yeah. um, with the girl? With Cookie? Yeah. There's no being alone around here. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it up. <laughs> Grizzly ain't can't have no girlfriend. No girlfriend? Uh-uh. <laughs> How old is he? Oh, uh, he just two. Two hey, years old and trying to get a big dog. Well, what about in dog years? <laughs> they still too young. Seventeen dollars. <laughs> yeah, can't do it. <clears throat> but anyway, y'all, I love the guineas. I love the work that they're doing. I love the fact that they go around and eat the. But we have not had a problem this year so far, like last year. Y'all heard me talk last season about the fleas and the ticks. They were like seriously crazy last year, right? I mean, real deal crazy, right? Hey, where you at? Wasn't here. Okay. Huh? Wasn't here. Yeah, you what? You wasn't here then. It's something on your eyelashes. These pretty eyelashes. Okay, so this year we have not had that kind of problem. So far, so good. This is August. Uh, going into August now. And we haven't had a major flea and tick problem. I am so glad. So our guineas have been doing a fantastic job. Now, Mr. H decided, when we got our guineas, he decided that, you know, the rule of thumb is to leave them in six weeks. <clears throat> when you first get them, to leave them inside <coughs> for six weeks. You okay? Leave them inside for six weeks before you let them out so that they will know where home is, they will know where the food is. And so Mr. H, I think it is either six to eight weeks, something like that. Mr. H decided to leave them in for a full 90 days. Sure did. <coughs> Silky smooth. Mr. H decided to leave them in for a full 90 days. And when we started opening the door, they wouldn't even come out. <laughs> so we couldn't do the release video like we wanted to do to show you their upcoming. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> we like your cock we like, we like your cock doodle doo. -doo bro. But you don't have to say it like many times. He, he just goes on and on. I think they'd be in a competition. <laughs> but uh, anyway, where was I? What was I saying? About the guineas, about releasing the guineas. Oh yeah, Mr. H kept them in for 90 days and they didn't even want to leave. They just stayed inside and one day, because we leave the doors open, because number one, it does great for that breeze to come through and, and keep the chicken house cool during these hot, hot summer months. So we leave the door open. And uh, for days, they just would like stay inside. But we came out one day and they were everywhere. And we were shocked to find them out because they wouldn't come out for like days. They stayed in, you know, so now that they're out <laughs> and we didn't run them out. We didn't want to chase them out. So we just kind of left them in and let them come out when they were good and ready. So now that um, the guineas are out back here. 
back here doing their own thing. They are doing a phenomenal job. And so far, we started off with 16 guineas. We're down to 13. And it's very, very sad, but I'm going to share with you what happened. I guess Grizzly, he don't want anything on this property if he's not used to it. I guess get Grizzly thought, hey, y'all. Go on, do your business. I know you guys are like, really I mean, they come business, really right? close to us. I mean, they're good with coming close to us, so. I don't know. And we all, we got one dork guinea. We got one dork. He's just a dork. <laughs> oh, he's just dorky. Dork. Where he is a dork. He's always like, I can believe that. he gets, he's just, he gets stuck out. It's like all of the other guineas will go in one direction and this, this dork will go, we call him dorky anyway. He goes in a completely opposite direction as the rest of them. Like right now. Maybe he just likes to be. Look, he's this way and they all went that way. Maybe he's like a loner. Maybe he likes being alone, like a lone You wolf. think he's, I don't know, but. Maybe he's just confident that he can navigate his own way. Look at him. Where is he going? Navigating his own way into the world. All of them went that way except him. He's, oh, he's always the last one out of the barn. He no, was the just, one that I was filming. They were just a little cool. No, they yeah, they're going on about their <laughs> business. <clears throat> think I'm going to put another cop drop? Yeah. Grandma, are we going to get these eggs for the morning? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the duck egg. She even got a um, little baby egg. She even got a fairy egg this morning. What are those things? Are, are they really rich and purple? No, sometimes the chickens will lay. Oh, we got these eggs. eggs. Sure did. Let's put the fairy Does anything back in hatch there. out of it? Nah. Are but, we going to eat that too? Nah. <laughs> if you want to open it, we'll open it. Okay. So, now, as I was saying. Hey, there's no. a dork again. Nope. Where's the nope. dork? Oh, he's finally catching up with him? No, he's not. Nah, he's going. Oh, his... there he is. He is. He's going his I own way. I guess you're right. He's going his own way. There's yep. nothing wrong with that, is it? Sometimes you have to go your own path. And maybe that's what he's doing, choosing a path that he wants to choose for himself. He's not following the crowd, right? I love that. Good job, man. Okay, so I guess we'll change his name from Dorky. Okay, non follower. Non follower. All non -follower. right. Yeah. Okay. No, so, Leonardo. Leonardo. Okay. No. Leonardo it is. Leonardo. What? He has a face only a mother could love. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, y'all, Grizzly. Uh, no, do. Let's not talk about Grizzly in front of the camera. Grizzly's right there. Here comes Grizzly. So we're going to talk about Grizzly since he's coming. But anyway, Grizzly started chasing them. He saw them over with the chickens and he started chasing them away. We from have, the chickens. We have first got them? Yeah, when they start coming out first. Hey, Grizz. And he chased them to the point where one flew over the fence and ran into the pasture and disappeared. <laughs> and we haven't seen him. Okay? Anymore since then. We went looking for him, could not find him anywhere. So he's gone. The other grizzly pounced on one. And when he pounced on it, Grizzly is a big dog. He immediately, the guinea was done for then. Yeah, because they, if this giant dog landed on one of these chicks, they their bones are really easily it. fragile. So Yeah, so we could just break it. when he pounced on it, that was that. And another one went another way. We don't know what happened to it. And Grizzly came back with it later on that day. He was carrying it. And he dropped it right in front of the back porch so he could show us that he captured the things that didn't belong. What a bad grizzly. <gasps> Don't say that. Grizz is a good dog. He just tried he to protect He is a good us. dog, but he didn't know. Grizz, don't listen to them. I love you very much. I love him very much too, but he needs to stop. I won't say nothing bad about the dog. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but I think that was a very good dialogue because there were some good points being made right there, right? Because Grizzly has to learn that he can't do that, right? But at the same time, you're right because Grizzly was doing what he thought he needed to do to protect our chickens, right? 
So I think the mistake was that we should have um, really introduced. Moo didn't do it. Of course, Moo didn't Tamu do it. Did not, Tamu saw them and he was like, oh, y'all knew? Okay. <laughs> and he went on about his business, but not Grizzly. He was trying to get rid of them. And so Mr. H did a great job. He put Grizzly on a leash and he brought uh, Grizzly to the yard where the guineas were at so that Grizzly could see them and walk around, you know, without chasing them. So Mr. H did a good job of trying to show Grizzly, you know, no, <laughs> these are ours, <laughs> you know, but I think Grizzly was like, hey, intruders, you don't belong here, you know, kind of like foxes and rabbits that are in the garden and shouldn't be. So I think he was just doing what he thought he should. And so now, as you can see, the guineas are out, Grizzly's here, he's not bothering them anymore. So we lost three out of 16. We lost three? Three out of 16, one never came back, the other one he pounced, and then the other one, I guess he caught it. Grizz, so we have 13. Grizz, I'm gonna say one thing, Grizz. Good job trying to protect people, but next time just try to be more, try using your brain. Yeah. <laughs> just try using your brain. So, they, uh, they have, uh, done a wonderful job around here. What is oh, he doing? There's, no, uh, there's Moo Bear. So, they have done a fantastic job, our guineas, of getting down the bugs, getting down ticks and fleas, y'all. It has been awesome. Now, Mr. H said, maybe we should get a few more. I said, uh-uh. <laughs> That's too much. Yeah. Me. So we have 13. And at some point, they'll probably lay and hatch out their own eggs. And that would be awesome. Now, if we ever get to a point, you know, where we have to, then we'll have to. But we're hoping that the 13 that we have left will suffice all right it's 13 of them and i think that's 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 a perfect number <laughs> so because actually we, were, we only wanted um about 10 but when you order them from hatcheries you have to order a minimum amount so we could only we had to get the 16 or the 15 and they sent us one extra so so seven no it was a total of 16 yeah, but in, 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 in any case, you all, I just had to share that. If you all are considering guineas, I would just say, make sure you put their guinea house a nice ways away from your house. This is, guineas are, are not something that you want to have in the house, right by your house, because they are really loud. And sometimes they can be loud like that, just over and over again just all day long non-stop going one starts they all start <laughs> so so yeah. if you have the space and you want to get some bugs under control on your homestead then guineas would be the way to go they don't destroy the garden under no circumstances they're always in my garden and they are not destroying any of our crops. I love them. <laughs> I love them, you know. We so a lot of chickens. We got a lot of chickens. Mm. A lot. We got a lot of chickens. So, Grandma? That was a meow. That was a meow. That was not meow. It was all raincoat, I think. It was what? It was the um, dog who always comes in here with greens and stuff. And the two dogs fight over yeah, it was him and Grizz just quickly. Well, they're not going to fight right now over her. Yeah. Yeah, they're just having to talk. They're chilling right now. Oh, that was a meow. I'm telling you. I'm saying that it was the dog who normally just comes around. Cookie? Mm -hmm, cookie? Yeah, she's been over here. She ain't left since yesterday. Well, what? Yep. Cookie, stay you over here. You need to go to your home. So my, I don't so think she likes her house anymore. Does she even have a family? Yeah, but I don't think she likes being there. She likes being here. She's always here. Probably because she got a grizz. And oh, even Tamu shares his food with her. What? Uh, so yeah. I'll tell you, we, we can't keep him. We can't keep him. Nah, I, I don't want to keep I got enough dogs. Yeah, you we got have enough like dogs. One. We got enough animals. You got we like do. 
One. So anyway, two, three, a lot. A lot. So anyway, you all, I just wanted to share that with you about our guineas, how much we are absolutely loving them. You know, like I said, if you get them, make sure you got some distance. You don't want your house here and your guineas here. <laughs> you want your house here and your guineas. See you what your house back here. Then. <laughs> you see you want your house here, but you. Cause want grandma got a big, 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 big over girl. here. You want your guineas over here? Back yeah, down. you want them away, okay? Cause they are loud, but they do a superb job. So bug control this year, A plus. No chemicals. Woo. A plus. None of that. A Just plus. the guineas. Look at them. Better start a fight. They're too live for that. What? Hey guys, don't start a fight now. You guys are brothers. No, they're both little roosters. They about this big and they already going. <laughs> <laughs> they're already going. Yeah. So, anyway, you all, that's going to do it for today. Just wanted to share with you the update on the Geek Squad. The Geek Squad is off the chain. They are doing a phenomenal job and the loner but the geek squad is doing good and the loader hey Jax. And the so loader. that's it for you all uh, for you all today don't um <laughs> come on but your paws wet <laughs> and, it's raining. and he gonna jump right back up here come here jack bruh say hi to everybody jack with your wet paws <laughs> i can hold them i can hold them <laughs> all right so you all I haven't forgotten, we haven't forgotten about the name that chick is coming. We're trying to let the chicks get a little bigger so that you can act, because they are, they so little. We have named them. We have named them the names that you sent in. A lot of you sent donations via Cash App for the name of chick that one of our beautiful subscribers, she started it. Her name is Murphy. She started it with the name of chick. Okay, so we have officially named that chick, like she said, and others have sent in for the name of chick as well. So we have named them according to the names that you all have sent in to us. So y'all stay tuned for that video. It is going to be so much fun to watch. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah. And also, y'all, what else I was going to say? So our guineas are going in to eat. You see them? They come right back. Because they know when we come out and put the food out, they always come back right on back around <laughs> and come and get themselves something to eat. Hey, where's the loader? So he's probably in there too. So y'all, that's going to do it for today. Yeah. Man, bash me on YouTube. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and give the video a thumbs a big, up. A big thumbs up. Remember what I said? Press that icon up there if you ever want to see a new video. And it's that right bell. down here. No. The subscribe button is down there. I said the I, I said the I don't have an icon. A icon? You need to get an icon. I don't know how. Are you gonna show me? I I'll show you. Okay. So and hit that bell. Hit that hit notification, that notification bell. bell. Oh, and let me tell you guys a secret. When you press the <laughs> thumbs up button, it turns blue. It sure does. What a secret reveal. Press that subscribe button. And press the subscribe button. I'm still working on my animation. He sure is. He's doing a good job, y'all. That first one is going to be like crazy. And I was like, like, it felt like I needed popcorn to hear the story. <laughs> this little egg that we're going to find out what's in here. We're going to find out what's in And we'll put it on YouTube. All right. Yeah, Cracking yeah, up your fairy on YouTube, Grandma. All right, you all. So, I'm hanging out with um, two of the G babies this week. And um, it's been awesome. So, yeah, that's going to do it, you all. Thank you so much and keep, for watching the video today. And keep what? And keep homesteading. And keep homesteading. I like that. Say it again. And keep homesteading. Keep homesteading. That's right. And tell us <laughs> what's in the comments. Comment down below. Yep. Comment down below if you want if you want to see more about all the animals like Jackson, Grizzly. Don't spill the beans. We have a surprise for them. We got a surprise for them. What? What? Nope. We don't. 
We gotta reveal it in the video. They don't know yet. They don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where did we get the Guinness from? I don't remember the name of the company where we got the guineas from, but it was a hatchery for guineas. I think all they primarily had was guineas. They may have had a few of the standard chickens, like up Orpingtons or something, but primarily it was just guineas. That was it. So that's what we were able to get them from. So yeah. But y'all, that's going to do it for today. We got some work to do, a little more harvesting to do. I got some tomato uh, sauce, crushed tomatoes I got to make today. It's about to rain, so man, look at those clouds. So it's a great day to be inside canning. We yeah. might not be at the old barn. We might not be able to get to the old barn today, depending on if it rains or not. So, you said it was going to be Saturday. So, remember, guys, it's going to be Saturday. 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 Oh. Saturday. That's right. Saturday. Today's Wednesday. So, mm -hmm. there's a thing. Nope, not yet. Oh, let me tell you. Oh, and I'm going to give you guys a hint. No, you can't. No hints. Get out of here. <laughs> all right, you all. That's going to do it for today. Thank you all so much for watching Homestead Heart. If you haven't done so already, keep homesteading. If you haven't done so already, give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to Grandma. each and every one of you. Grandma. We'll see you in the next video. No, don't end the video. Don't end the video. What? No, no, look. Uh, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Keep hoping. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.